Hey, it's Garrett. Welcome to CEO Unplugged. I am here today with the CEO of Capsule, Eric Kinari Walla. Welcome. Oh, it's awesome to be here, Garrett. I'm a big fan of the program. Oh, thank you very much. As am I you, because we've seen you all throughout New York City talking about Capsule. It's subways everywhere. And, and now to sit down with you and pick your brain about how you started and revolutionized the way that we get our medicine is, uh, is, is very interesting. So let's start with this. Where did this idea for Capsule come from? I heard that it was just a bad experience uh, trying to get a Z-pack from your pharmacy. So I started Capsule five years ago, and I was living on the Lower East Side of New York, and I woke up one day with this terrible headache, and I called my doctor, and I asked him, you know, I asked him, like, my head doc, my head's exploding, what should I do? Uh, and he asked me a series of questions, and basically was like, don't worry about it, you've got a sinus infection, uh, I'll call a prescription and go pick it up. Um, and so I basically put my coat on, and I went out in the, uh, on this, like, cold, snowy January morning to, uh, to a pharmacy down on the Lower East Side of New York, where I used to live, a chain pharmacy, and like literally everything you can think about going wrong with the pharmacy went wrong for me that day. Um, starting with the fact that I'm, you know, I'm in the drugstore and I'm kind of looking around, meandering through these aisles, and I'm walking past, you know, greeting cards and soap and cigarettes and cleaning supplies, but I can't actually find the pharmacy. Um, right. And so I end up asking somebody behind the cash register, I'm like, hey, where's your pharmacy? And she kind of says, oh, it's in the basement, as if that's totally obvious. I've never heard the and basement. I've always heard the back. It's in the back. Go in the back. Yeah, and so, and so I end up uh, you know, not thinking too much about it. My head's pounding, and I kind of walk myself to the back of the store. And, of course, I get to this escalator, and it's broken. And so I walk down this broken escalator, and I get to this dark, dingy basement. Uh, and there's, like, 40 people in line ahead of me, and, you know, my cell phone doesn't have signal down there. Uh, and so I end up waiting in line for an hour. I finally get to the pharmacy counter, and this friendly but overworked pharmacist um, it's like, how can I help you? And I'm like, oh, my doctor called in a Z-pack. Can I get it? So she goes back to the, you know, to the shelves and is kind of rummaging around and, and comes back with this totally defeated look on her face, which is like, I'm so sorry, we're out of stock. And so I had one of those moments. I'm like, how are you out of stock? It's January. It's a Z-pack. Like, it's the only thing you should have. And so I was like, don't worry about it. I'll just call my doctor and I'll have him call it in somewhere else. And so, of course... As I go to pull my cell phone out, I realize that it's died searching for signal in the basement for an hour. Uh, and so I ended up going home, you know, with no medication in hand, and uh, I just went to bed. And I woke up the next morning, and I had one of those moments I think we all have at some the point. aha moment. I had one of those, a little bit less than an aha moment, or kind of like what the F is going on moment. <laughs> a different and, moment. <laughs> which can be an aha moment. And, uh, and I think, and that was sort of the spark for me to really start just digging into like what just happened and how could this experience uh, that should be so simple and easy um, be so complicated and terrible. Um, and I spent the early part of my career as an investor and I was investing in retail companies and healthcare companies and technology companies, um, none of which made, you know, that combination didn't make sense when I was 25. And right. as I started digging in and unpacking my own experience, I very quickly learned that the pharmacy is actually at this you know, incredible intersection and our business capsule is at the incredible intersection of, you know, building a, an amazingly delightful high trust brand. Um, it is at the intersection of a robust technology platform that we've built. Uh, and it's, of course, the, the center point of the healthcare system. Um, and so I learned that my experience wasn't all that uncommon. You know, 70% of American adults go to the pharmacy at least once a month. And there's this really long list of familiar frustrations, Garrett, whether you face them, right. or I face them, or our families have faced them. It's, persistent out of stocks. It's why don't I know the price until I wait in line for an hour? Why do I have to wait in line for an hour? And gosh, like I have a question, but I don't want everybody in line behind me hearing about my personal medical details. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's where we started. It was me in a room by myself and a we work in the financial district um, and, and really set out to solve those really core fundamental problems that impact, you know, virtually every American. Right. Um, no, of course. Help people more easily uh, and now um, more safely get and manage your medications on an ongoing basis. And so we built something that is incredibly delightful. People love using it and they have this really emotional reaction to it. So when you look well, at the app store reviews and the Google store reviews, um, the, the reaction from people that, you know, trust capsule, you know, month after month for their medications has been really rewarding and, and candidly like pretty surprising for me in that um, something as simple as a pharmacy can, bring so much delight to people. Um, and that's really what, you know, that's what, that's the ethos of the businesses. And that's what we've built the, the whole team and the culture and the product around. 
Well, that's what you hope. You find a need that the people want and you, and you bring it to them and you bring it to them the best way possible, especially now. But let's let's start pretty much from the beginning about Capsule. Uh, for those that are unfamiliar with Capsule, how does it work? Uh, you know, you obviously download the app onto your phone and then from there, take us through the steps of the moment you put in a, you call in a prescription or your doctor does to the moment it arrives on your doorstep. So we've made Capsule dead simple for everybody to use. And there's two ways you can use Capsule. The first is if you have uh, a prescription sitting at another pharmacy, uh, whatever that is, you know, your corner pharmacy, you can basically go to the website or download our app. You can put in six pieces of information, your name, your birthday, the name of your old pharmacy, what drugs you take, and then Capsule becomes your pharmacy. And wow. from there, we basically uh, enable you to go to our app or go to our website or even over text message or the phone because it's really accessible for everybody. Uh, you can basically see the price, you can see why your doctor prescribed it, you can see how many refills you have left, you can chat or text with the pharmacist about any questions you have, whether it's about your insurance or any side effects with the drug. Um, and then you can schedule free same day delivery anywhere in New York City, uh, right from your phone. It's three clicks, it's dead simple, uh, it's end to end, um, the simplest experience all, all from your phone, uh, wherever you want, however you want. Um, the other way you can use Capsule is actually, believe it or not, even easier than that. You can, <laughs> How do you get easier? Tell, you can literally just tell your doctor, Capsule's your pharmacy, and your doctor will electronically send us a prescription, uh, and then that same flow kicks off. We'll send you a text message, and then you can just schedule free same-day, two-hour delivery um, right, right from your phone. Uh, you don't need an account to sign up even. Uh, so we've made, we've made that part of switching pharmacies dead, dead simple, uh, and people really love it. Well, now let's let's talk about where we're at in the world right now with COVID-19. How has that impacted your business uh, with Capsule? More than ever, medication delivery is now an essential tool to helping contain the outbreak. And so what we've seen over the last six or eight weeks being at the front lines, you know, New York City is the epicenter of yep. the COVID-19 outbreak. And we've been at the, and, and we in Capsule have been at the front lines of that. And what we've seen is tremendous demand from consumers, from doctors, from hospitals, from insurance companies, because we are the only pharmacy that delivers same day for free, seven days a week from three clicks to your phone. And we spent five years building the operational and technology infrastructure to be able to support the entire community. And so our team's done an amazing job. They're at the front lines every day, making sure people stay safe, they stay healthy, and most importantly, they stay home, but making sure that people have access to their medications. And so Capsule is you know, the only pharmacy that can really scale rapidly to handle the demand that's coming in right now from, right. from the community. And we've partnered with local hospitals, we've partnered with local government, and we've partnered with cities uh, to be able to support the community at this time of need, um, which is really, really important um, more, you know, now more than ever. Now it's interesting. Obviously, you created Capsule for an ease purpose of to, to make the process easier. But did you think that now of all times that it's even more essential that this uh, capsule is around than it was five years ago when you created it. One of the things that we're seeing and one of the things that we've always believed is the pharmacy was always very offline. It was like one or one and a half percent online. Um, and when you look at other categories of things that you might buy and do in your life, uh, the, the pharmacy was the thing that it was always stuck in the past. And we had seen an accelerating trend in people wanting to engage with their healthcare digitally. That Whether that's let me fire up a doctor over, uh, you know, on my phone or on my computer and just get a quick checkup um, or whether that's engaging in, in digital pharmacy. And I think COVID has made it so obvious for people who might not have had a reason to try it or a catalyst to change their habits. And now that more and more people are either by necessity um, or by safety wanting to engage in things like telehealth and digital pharmacy, I think th those trends are really here to stay. And so- right. More than, more than any time before, we think the trend of people engaging with their healthcare from their phones is here to stay and is accelerating. And I think we're just super energized and grateful that we can be a part of the solution right now uh, because it is, you know, medication delivery is absolutely essential right now. Well, also talk about the fact that uh, it, it, we think about all the first responders, the doctors, the nurses, the physician assistants that are on the front lines and you know the EMS workers, but pharmacists are, are just as essential right now too. And, and your, your, your workers are, are just uh, doing their part too. I mean, do they realize that they're, they're just as essential as everyone else that's out there right now helping the world? Our staff right now are absolute, you know, the heroes on the front line along with 
all of the other first responders that you mentioned, um, pharmacists, uh, all the other folks that work in the pharmacy, making sure that people are continuing to get their medications on time, uh, on schedule, so they can stay healthy and that we're not compounding the problem in hospitals. Because if people aren't taking their medications and getting more ill, then they end up in the hospital. And that only makes the problem that we have with the hospital system right now with COVID even worse. And so uh, the, the pharmacy and our entire team has done such an amazing job stepping up to the challenge um, and the opportunity right. and sort of the, the call to, to serve. Um, and I think that pharmacies are have always been sort of the most accessible part of the healthcare system. The average person goes to the pharmacy eight times more often they go to their doctor every year. Right. And so the pharmacist is the highest, one of the highest trust healthcare professionals that exist. And you're seeing that right now, you know, pharmacies and capsules specifically is open um, and we're open, you know, we haven't reduced our hours. Many other pharmacies have had to reduce their hours because of our model, because of our staff's commitment to the community. We are, you know, we are open as much as we've ever been open before. We're delivering more prescriptions than we've ever delivered before. We're answering more phone calls and texts and chats about helping people navigate their insurance and their questions about their medications than we've ever done before. Uh, and, and pharmacies and our pharmacists and capsule is an essential part of the healthcare infrastructure. Well, well, it's it, it's interesting that you say that too. We're talking about you know how people you were you were saying how people visit the the pharmacies more you know seven times in a month. Uh, let's t you and I know how to use capsule. Our friends know how to use capsule. But what about those that are how do I phrase it uh, more set in their ways, aka our parents to uh, to download capsule? Like what what would be your pitch to people uh, that that are unsure or just you know love to walk into the pharmacy? We built Capsule to serve every consumer. Right. And so no matter what you're comfortable with, it was important to us from the very first day that you can use Capsule however is comfortable for you. It's right. a pharmacy that's designed and built around the consumer. And so if you're a person who's super tech forward and has an app for everything, great, we have an app for you. If you're somebody who likes to use things on your phone but on the internet, we've got that for you. If you want to use it from your desktop computer, great. You can go to Capsule.com and use it. If you want to just do it over text message, no problem. We'll we'll handle it over text message. If you like, you got everyone covered. Phone, if you want to do it over the phone, great. You can call us and we'll do it over the phone. Um, and so we 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 know that because everyone is impacted by having a terrible pharmacy experience, and everyone deserves a better pharmacy experience, um, we built the product day one so that you can use it however you want. Um, and I think what we're seeing in our business now is that we're actually seeing people who might not have before been early adopters of, of something that's new right. to come into the business at higher rates than, than before because it's really important for people to stay at home right now and it's important for people to have a safe way to get their medications. Uh, and so you're, you're seeing people be exposed to, to new ways of doing things and they're loving it. Um, and, and so the feedback from people who've never used it before uh, is, as, is as positive as for, from people who have been using it you know, month after month after month for the last four years. Well, now for you, what's next for Capsule? Right now, we are so focused on serving the community here in New York. There's such a need. Of course. Uh, there's such a need here as the, as the epicenter of the outbreak. And, and, and Capsule is the only pharmacy that is able to support the community's needs right now because, uh, because of the technology infrastructure we've built, because of the operational expertise we've built. So first and foremost is making sure that Together, we help New Yorkers stay at home and we help overcome the COVID crisis. Um, and then, look, New York is only, you know, only 3% of America lives in New York. And the other 97% of Americans, they deserve to have access to a better pharmacy as well. They deserve to have access to something as great as Capsule. And so we've been laying the infrastructure over the last year to be able to expand the business nationally. Uh, and our objective is to have a national footprint over the next 18 to 36 months. Well, that that even that's even sooner than my next question of what, where do you see Capsule in the next five to ten years? <laughs> yeah, in, in in ten years, in ten in ten years, my my ambition is that everyone is using Capsule and everyone right. engaging with their medications on their phone, and that we're able to harness that consumer engagement to help everybody else in the healthcare system solve a problem. And so the the healthcare system has been fragmented for so long your doctor doesn't talk to your pharmacist doesn't talk to your insurance company doesn't coordinate with your hospital doesn't coordinate with the person that makes the drug and we've always believed that capsule can be the pharmacy that works for everyone and that by 
bringing everyone together, we can make people healthier and safer uh, than, than ever possible before. And so that's the ambition of the business is to bring together all of the different important people in the healthcare ecosystem um, and for the pharmacy and the pharmacist to be the quarterback of the healthcare system because the pharmacy and the pharmacist is really high trust because people are going to the pharmacy eight times more often than their doctor that the pharmacist has this incredible uh, role to play in, in, in orchestrating medication and healthcare among all of those different stakeholders. Uh, now, and that's Eric, the technology platform that we've built. Now, Eric, the one thing that I could personally say that I, I don't miss at all is going to the pharmacy and uh, then having, having the person behind the counter get on the, the PA and ask for a price check. Uh, for something very embarrassing or cream to get rid of an itch. So thank you for taking taking that out of the way. No more no more scary stories of going to the pharmacy. So I appreciate that part of it as well. Everything's private and secure, and you've got the price right before you. You know, you know the price up front with Capsule. We've built in price transparency right into the app. Uh, so there's no no need for waiting in line. No need to get a price track, and certainly no need for. Uh, the entire store to know your private medical details. Yeah, well, it's happened one too many times. Um, I want I want you to talk about uh, a quote that I read that that you love to uh, you you love to say maybe some meaning behind it about business. Win by winning. Win by winning is the idea that there's it's easy to get distracted when you're trying to do something ambitious. All right. And easy in two ways. One is that one is that when you start out, uh, everybody has a reason to tell you no, whether it's uh, people you're trying to get to join the team, it's people you're raising funding from, it's big people that you want to do partnerships with, it's competitors, it's conventional companies in your space. And in some ways, the only answer to all of those things is just to win by winning. Um, and the other uh, place that works, it's easy to get distracted by all of the different things you can do. And right. so for me, it's, it's a reminder that uh, the only measure of success is success and everything else that's not success is an excuse. Um, and the only reason to do something is just to go ahead and do it. Um, it's easy to overthink things and it's easy to overanalyze things. But for us and for the team, we just like to keep that phrase in mind. Um, you know, you just, you win by winning and you don't worry about what anybody else is doing and you don't worry about what anybody else is saying and you play your game uh, and, and, and you try to help as many people as possible. Uh, and through that, um, success comes and follows. Did a lot of those no's then turn into customers once they saw the success you've had with Capsule? I think that's, that's the important part of win by winning. 100%. Well, Eric, thank you so much. Uh, download Capsule. It's in every app store possible. Um, and, and like Eric said, too, you, you could use the app. Uh, you could just tell your doctor to call Capsule as your pharmacy. It's, it's, it's the easiest way to... to to do something that was that was a little bit complicated, but uh, Eric and his team at Capsule have found a way to make the process super easy. Uh, Eric, is there anything left that you want to talk about about Capsule that we might have not covered right here? No, that was great, Garrett. Thanks so much. It's 15 seconds to switch, and you can go to Capsule.com, get your prescriptions over, uh, and we'd love to look after you and your family's health. I appreciate it. Well, thank you very much. And uh, w welcome to my home, too. This is my house. So, you know, <laughs> so it's, we're, we're very clean. We have, uh, we have hand sanitizer all over the place, and uh, we're washing more, more often than none. So uh, be, be well, be safe, and uh, thank you very much for, for your time, and thank you for coming on CEO Unplugged. Likewise. Thanks.